Thank you for the invitation. Uh, it's a very interesting congress, uh, conference, and uh, uh, good opportunity to uh, introduce my country and also to, to speak with colleagues to discuss cardiology uh, in online format. So, regarding the, my topic, it's very important that uh, non-communicable diseases uh, is um, widespread in the world and kill almost uh, 4 million people each year. And uh, of course, cardiovascular disease account for the most uh, non-communicable deaths and uh, almost 18 million people annually uh, uh, die because of cardiovascular disease. And this all resolvable now till now because of uh, uh, very uh, a lot of reason to um, worsening of uh, uh, natural history of uh, uh, cardiovascular disease in spite of uh, technologies and treatment and uh, forces which can be applied for treatment and management of patients so uh -huh. And uh, uh, we know that uh, prognosis of cardiovascular disease uh, is very um, uh, hard to estimate because of many impactable factors. And viability, one of them. Why we know about viability? Because we know that uh, it impacts dramatically on cardiac death, myocardial infarction, and less hospitalization. And uh, this is a very very elegant was shown in uh, studies. Uh, may I ask next slide, please? My, uh -huh, thank you. Uh, uh, elegantly shown uh, in uh, studies uh, like stitch trial and the heart trial. Uh, of course, there are some criticism uh, during performing and uh, reading the results of this study, but uh, some. Uh, some sub studies show that uh, at least uh, the existence of viability uh, impacts uh, impacted uh, positively on uh, survival of patients. But in multivariable analysis, it was not so significant uh, if compared to other um, uh, other patients without viability, as well as in heart trial, it was also not very significant impact. Uh, but in other studies like part two and the TAVA 5 sub study showed that uh, myocardial viability is a positively impactable factor for survival of patients after surgery. Uh, but of course, different technique for evaluation of viability was applied. Uh, please, next slide. Thank you. Uh, and uh, this is also very important to remember that uh, left vertical dysfunction because of uh, ischemically um, depressed myocardium uh, could be complicated by uh, different different factors, difficult different conditions like uh, secondary mitral insufficiency of myocardial deformation and uh, contractility, left ventricle contractility. Next, please. Uh, in, increasing of uh, left ventricle and diastolic pressure and uh, releasing of high amount of uh, native pyritic peptide like BNP and T pro BNP and uh, worsening of survival in patients with high and diastolic pressure of left ventricle higher than 25 millimeters. And um, next, please. And um, in, induction of uh, myocardial lesion and uh, myocardial inflammatory, pro-inflammatory response. Uh, regarding the myocardial lesion, we, we know that any surgery, any uh, uh, surgical um, approach to um, revascularize uh, patient's coronary uh, bed will will follow uh, by um, myocardial lesion because of uh, teaser and uh, um, uh, in, in, uh, worsening of uh, left ventricle function early postoperatively and in uh, some cases late 
uh, because of a high release in uh, high, uh, high amount of cell deaths and the releasing of uh, factors uh, which can uh, destroy of uh, another myocardial cells. Next, please. Uh, Pro-inflammatory response is also very important in myocardium, in operated myocardium, because of uh, artificial circulation uh, in on-pump condition of patient with coronary vascular disease and uh, uh, revascularizing technique. Next, please. Uh, so many, many, many other factors can impact uh, negatively on uh, left ventricle function, especially in patients with uh, previous preoperatively dysfunctional myocardium. And uh, there are some uh, uh, surgical uh, cases, surgical causes uh, like complete and non-complete revascularization, graft function or dysfunction, and other, other, other. So we should predict uh, if this patient will be fit for surgery uh, especially in case of uh, left ventricle dysfunction and uh, depressed myocardial function, which can we uh, estimate before surgery. But of course, we uh, perform estimation of uh, myocardial function in rest condition. So we uh, should uh, use some uh, additional technique to evaluate myocardial function, uh, like myocardial viability, or completeness uh, to work in stress condition, uh, com complete function in, uh, in condition of uh, you know, patient will ask need for improvement of uh, this dysfunction of left ventricle. Next, please. And it was also shown that uh, viable myocardium can be um, uh, underwent ischemia and uh, if ischemia is developed in myocardium it means that uh, this myocardium is still viable uh, but different condition like acute ischemia uh, or chronic ischemia uh, lead to different status of myocardium like stunt myocardium and hibernating myocardium but they are still viable because uh, there are some myofibrils or many myofibrils which can be damaged by ischemia, reversible or non-reversible. In case of non-reversible uh, ischemia, we um, will find scar, but uh, scar is not uh, not not uh, uh, viable uh, tissue, and uh, then we will discuss about it also. Uh, so, uh, if we will differentiate stand and hibernate in myocardium, we uh, should know if there are uh, perfusion, normal perfusion or depressed perfusion, and if there are normal function or dysfunction, not only in rest condition, but also in uh, post ischemia and in stress condition. And uh, we, we need to know it for management of patient and uh, for next, next step in uh, revascularizing or medical uh, treatment of this patient. Next, please. Uh, and video. May I ask to... Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you. Uh, some patient demonstrate, uh, demonstrates uh, also left ventricle dysfunction without scarring and uh, uh, especially uh, in patients with uh, uh, simultaneous uh, valvular heart disease like in this patient with aortic stenosis, uh, severe aortic stenosis and uh, uh, secondary mitral insufficiency. And, uh, uh, European and American recommendation guidelines in treatment of patients with uh, secondary mitral regurgitation uh, showed that um, in case of uh, surgery, uh, better to know uh, about viability of uh, this myocardium because of prognosis uh, it could, could be dramatically worse uh, because of unpredictable uh, deaths if we don't know about status and uh, reserve on co contractility and uh, viability of myocardium. Next, please. Mm 
Next slide, please. Like in, in okay, okay. So we, we can see that uh, class of uh, recommendation, not very high, but uh, uh, it's uh, quite enough for understanding that uh, patient with low ejection fraction and uh, uh, concomitant uh, uh, coronary disease and valvular disease still uh, still uh, should be undergone uh, estimation of viability for uh, prognosis for making prognosis of surgical revascularization next please and scar what is about scars uh, we know that scars uh, and uh, this is uh, very uh, clear shown uh, in uh, this this uh, pictures from microscopy from microscope uh, that scar is not a normal tissue with um, big amount of fibroblasts and collagen and uh, if you myofibrils but uh, uh, in cases of um, publication many many publications show that uh, scar is not very homogeneous and uh, has some islands of myofibrils which can improve contractility uh, and it uh, before it was like serendipity in, uh, in the improvement of contractility in area of scar and also we can't estimate it in uh, rest condition because uh, viability uh, should should be provoked uh, this uh, hyperfunction of myoglobin should be provoked by any any uh, technique and next please and also it is very important that uh, viability uh, in patient with uh, any reason any rhythmatic uh, shaping of uh, left ventricle apex uh, is very important to estimate because of uh, making border and localizing of scar for a new technique uh, for stage uh, during cardiac surgery or for revivant technology and vascular technology or combined technology of restoring of left ventricle shape uh, uh, both uh, 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 endovascular uh, approach and uh, transthoracic approach, uh, surgical approach to restore from starting uh, low in, in this patient with impaired left ventricle function. Next, please. So how can we measure uh, myocardial viability? We have uh, a lot of instruments uh, from ECG to positron emission tomography and ECG is not very useful tool especially in rest and also in stress condition because uh, we we don't uh, we don't know is are there uh, actually uh, uh, specificity high specificity in spite of uh, ST elevation and ST depression during stress ECG shows that uh, myocardium is still viable but uh, not not real the uh, amount or size of viable myocardial size of segments uh, last last words in uh, this slides uh, the improvement of contractility in three or more left ventricle segments is uh, more uh, more predictable uh, that viability still exists but this um, this uh, Criteria is not for SAG, it's for uh, mostly for echocardiography. Next, please. Uh, echocardiography is a uh, um, very useful tool for estimation of myocardium in stress condition using dobutamine technique, dobutamine infusion, and also with uh, uh, combination uh, with con contrast, myocardial contrast echo, it improves improves um, sensitivity and specificity but they are still not not very high with high sensitivity but lower specificity straight imaging can help uh, improve uh, the sensitivity and uh, specificity of stress echo but this technique is uh, very very hard to perform simultaneously because of uh, uh, necessity of 
high expertise of uh, uh, doctor or uh, technician and uh, that is very demandable in in resource in uh, in not not only in uh, machine eco machine but also in uh, in uh, operator next please uh, we can we can estimate microbial viability with cardiac MRI and uh, this is uh, because of gadolinium kinetics as different in myocardium, normal myocardium uh, with intact uh, cell membrane or ischemic, acutely ischemic myocardium with ruptured cell membrane and edema and uh, patient with uh, chronic ischemia where collagen matrix scar formation is clearly shown uh, in uh, uh, slices of uh, MRI scan. Next please. So we, we can see uh, white white tissue uh, of scar in left ventricle, inferior wall of left ventricle, uh, post-infarction scar, which is not include uh, any myocardium myofibrils, and this is area not viable, of course, and we uh, can build prognosis for this patient that uh, after surgery it will not restore function. And uh, you can see also scar in right ventricle, which is also uh, maybe a cause of right ventricle dysfunction, which was clear shown in previous uh, presentation. Next, please. Uh, using single photon emission tomography, we can show any diffusion defect. Uh, so methods of visualization uh, low perfusion in myocardium also can be used for estimation of viability but of course we mm -hmm. uh, we will not perform uh, stress in all patients like in this patient with uh, arrhythmia heart arrhythmia in rest conditions and it was not possible to infuse diperidomal to uh, provoke ischemia larger area of ischemia but uh, it was very useful to um, uh, inhale or sublingual using of nitrates and uh, uh, increasing of myocardial flow and also decrease of uh, post load of left ventricle and as you can see in lower picture the improvement of uh, myocardial perfusion in area of uh, uh, basically hyperperfused segment was uh, shown in the picture and we conclude that uh, this patient, this case of Fernando Mood from Uruguay, uh, it, we can conclude that the myocardium is still viable. This patient was underwent, next slide, slide please, also uh, glucose PET, FDG PET, and uh, you see how, how it, it was uh, clear shown perfusion metabolism mismatch in uh, posterior lateral segments of patient with uh, previously uh, assessed myocardial viability and this pattern when perfusion is depressed and metabolism of glucose switch from uh, uh, fatty acid to glucose clear shown in these pictures of patient during uh, PET another tool so high high quality tool for estimation of myocardial viability next please so we can uh, summarize the sensitivity specificity of different methods in in this table but still we we know that uh, positron tomography tomography and cardiac MRI I uh, have uh, high sensitivity, higher sensitivity among uh, many many uh, methods of estimation of myocardial viability, but the specificity is not very high uh, in in also in this uh, technique because of uh, some some specificity uh, of perfusion and metabolism of patient. Next slide, please. So, uh, in conclusion, uh, viability assessment is uh, becoming more essential than option for management of patients with dysfunctional myocardial scar with 
viable myocardium. And diagnostic approach to measure viability by imaging is preferable, not ECG. Wide range of imaging techniques is available uh, from the view ministry circuit to PET, uh, but using of imaging techniques depends on the region and the local expertise, of course. Next, please. Thank you. Uh, for attention and uh, I hope you have uh, wonderful autumn days.